Okay, so Steele's just had his hose down, and we thought, well, we could show you a few more things that you could do inside your barn or, or really anywhere. Another hot day exercise, just work on his backing skills and back him in and out of the stall, back him into the cross ties, just back him in general if he needs help with that. So you could back him into the stall or to the cross ties. Move his hindquarter and backing them into another spot that they're not that they're used to walking into can be a big deal. So it's a good way to challenge your groundwork and your trust with the horse. Maybe you haven't done he hasn't done this before and he's going to be uh, worried about it. Well, it's a good place to work on a little bit of that resistance and show them that you can be trusted to, if you ask for something, it's not going to be the end of the world, and go ahead and do it. I'd rather do it on the ground than it would on their back on the trail somewhere. Good job. You could do it from another angle. So like I said, you could just do your backing work. That's fine. But if you could do it and have purpose, then at least the horse understands. Good job. Okay. Now I'm doing the wiggle, but when I first start doing this, um, you're actually better off to do the direct halter pressure because uh, they're going to not to want to back into a space. That's just nature for a horse. Uh, um, they're going to want to say, oh, no, this is going to hurt me, or I'm going to back into something. And, um, you know, they don't see very well behind them. Good job. So I would do it like that for the first few times. Good job. And then if you want to get really creative, you could back them into their stall. So line my body parts up. There we go. Good. And you can move the hip over, though a lot of times they'll overcompensate with the hip. So if they do that, then I'll just move the shoulders over instead because the shoulders will go and the hindquarters won't, and they'll straighten themselves up. Good job. So I'll do direct pressure first. Good job. It's got a little ledge on it, so he might get stuck, so you'll have to help him. Good. Nice job. <clears throat> and the whole point of this is just to teach them to trust that you can put them in an odd situation, something they're not used to doing, and it's going to be okay. So I'll go back to direct halter pressure. There we go. Good job. I need to move his shoulder just a little bit. There we go. Good. Okay, let's just try the wiggle. Good. So that'd be a cool thing you could work on uh, three, four days, and they'll get pretty good at it. Uh, like I said, uh, I have to remind myself sometimes to do this because they're, uh, um, you know, it's just so much easier just to send them in or something. Uh, but it challenges your partnership and trust. And so if you can back a horse somewhere, it gives you a little bit of way to work on it. It can be a nice hot day. It's going to take you a couple minutes and uh, nobody's hot. Now I'll get direct halter pressure. And after they do it a few times, they realize at least this one spot, that it's not a big deal. So I would keep changing the spot you do it in. This cross tie, this stall, um, maybe back them into the gate when you turn them out. Just be creative. And again, it's just another hot day exercise. You can get these horses and keep your manners in check and, and actually build on the trust and manners. Okay. Uh, so you can just work on Backing them with the wiggle. You could work on leading him and backing up. See, I got a little crooked there. You could use the walls to kind of help you with that. There's all kinds of things you could do just inside your barn or outside in a paddock. They're still going to help him 
learn his skills. Good job. <laughs>